Hi guys, how are you all? So I am Asit Sikh from Icon Design, and today we are going to start our Handyman tutorial series. So Handyman is an on-demand home service solution to create amazing app for your services. And if you are well aware with applications, you know every application has its unique ID. So today we will see how to change that application ID, how to change the version code, version name, and also how to set up Firebase configuration. So let's start our video. So for the starters, we will open the Android Studio. And in the Android Studio, we have to open the project for Flutter. And in that project, we have this file Android. So we'll just click on it. This file will take some time to open. It totally depends on your device configuration. So wait for it to open. Then once it open, you will get these two folders, app and Gradle scripts. And in the Gradle script, we will select build Gradle with the module in the bracket. And there we will get this code. And in the below section, we have this application ID written there. We have added this exemplary ID to just show you guys. I will just change it like com.domain.appName. You can do it too according to your need. So what is application ID? Every Android app has its own application ID, which looks like Java package name. For example, com.domain.myappName. And this unique ID identifies your product to your device or at the Google Play Store. And once you are publishing your app, you should never change your application ID. That's an important tip for you guys. So now let's move to our process again. After changing your application ID, you will just click on sync now. This process will take some time depending on your configuration. And after the completion of this process, your ID will be successfully changed. And that's how you can change your application ID for Handyman. Now let's scroll down to our code and you can see we have this version code written here. So first of all, let's learn what is version code. So version code is an incremental numerical value that represents your version of your application. This version code is used by Google Play Store to show all the updates. Whenever you upgrade your version code, the user will be notified with the update. So let's move and see how to change the version code. So you can just simply change this return one to any value or whatever update you are on right now. So you can just simply change that from here. And below that, you can see we have version name. So what is version name? Version name is a string value which shows your version code in a simpler way for your users. This version name will be displayed to your user. So you can simply change your version name from here. Like you can write 2.1, 1.2 or whatever version name you can give it here. And you can simply change it like this. And you can see it was so easy to do here. Now let's move to the Firebase configuration. So for the Firebase configuration, we will go to the Google and search for the Firebase console. From there, we will just click on new project. And in that, we will give a demo name. I am just giving, for example, Flutter, you can do whatever you want and continue the process. Then we will disable the Google Analytics for this project and create a new project. Then this will take some time according to your internet or whatever. And then we will select Android from this getting started Firebase and it will take you to this panel. Here we have to write Android package name. This is the application ID that we have already changed before. So you can just go to our code and copy it from there and paste it here. And then we can move to the register app. So it will register your app. Then moving to the second step, you can download the Google service info.plist file from here, which will be used further. Then we will go next. Here you can see your Firebase SDK code, which is there. And moving ahead, we will continue to the console. It will take you to this page. Here we have this, our application ID written. So we'll just click on it and go to the settings of it. And you can see here we have this Android app registered. Now let's move to our code here. Now we will work with app. So the JSON code that we have downloaded will be moved to here. So we'll just copy it and paste it there or move it there and it will be done in your app. And after some time, your server JSON will be added to your code and your service will start after this process is done in the background. And you will get notified with the pop-up that your process has been completed. So this is where we end our video. So today we learn how to change the application ID, version name and code and also how to set up the Firebase configuration so it can store your users data. And we will be back with some another tutorial about handyman and how to make your work simpler. 
so stay connected with us you can like this video subscribe to my channel click the bell icon and also share it to your friends and our community so they can also take advantage of this amazing product handyman so till then hasta la vista